Hi, and welcome back to the shop. I'm Tina, AKA Model T. I'm here today to discuss a very important matter with you. It really wraps around my channel and Paul's channel. That is Paul Shin, the Model A guy, my hubby. I had something happen yesterday that was a little disturbing um, here in the Model A world. We are very friendly people and we like introducing new people to the hobby, um, helping them to get these beautiful machines running and on the roads and just enjoying life in them and having a lot of fun together, doing tours and all kinds of stuff. So we meet a lot of really nice people. And even here on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, all these different things, we even met some really nice people through there. We've met them at different events. If they were gonna be there also, we're like, oh yeah, we're gonna be there. And we eventually would meet each other and it was nice. The thing I want to discuss today that really was disturbing to me yesterday was as I was working on a DIY project, making a screen door, a car pulled up. At first I thought it was my sis and up pulled an older gentleman. He said he's 72 and uh, seemed very nice and I thought okay this must be one of Paul's friends it could be from Radio Ham it could be the Model A so the first thing he said as he jumped out of the car was hey you must be the Model T and I'm like okay he's from the Model A world he knows me as Model T okay who is this gentleman and you know is he a friend of Paul's so he continued on to tell me that um, he was about a good almost three hours away from us and he's not really a Facebook person or a social media kind of person and so he really wanted to meet Paul and get together with him and had these dreams of being apprenticed by Paul and learn all kinds of things and then that way when he got his Model A hopefully in the next year or two that um, these things would become helpful for him. The way he found us is through the internet. Um, there's not too many places that we actually put our home address. We always use a PO box. So where he found our home address, I don't know. It had to have been through like a government site or something. I don't even know how these things work. Um, knowing that somebody can find our home when we purposely try to kind of keep our home private um, is extremely disturbing to me. Now, luckily, he seems like a very nice gentleman. However, boundaries were overstepped. Um, we would like to keep our personal lives personal. We would like to keep our home personal. Um, if you come to our home, it's because we've invited you to come to our home, not because you've looked us up somewhere in the internet world and decided to show up on our doorstep when we don't know you. Any one of our friends know that if they're going to come to our home, they would talk to us first, email, text, whatever, um, and then we'd make up a time, a date or whatever, and then we meet up together. Same when we go to other people's homes. With us having so many ways to get a hold of us, we have emails for each of our YouTube channels, we have Facebook, we've got Instagram for both of us. Um, and Paul even recently made the tech email where you can reach many, many people to get pro help so that you can get through an issue where okay you might be having a little problem and okay the video helped but you have more questions to get you where you need to go that's what that's for paul created it because he is one person and um he just doesn't have the time a he's not retired he works a lot of hours we're talking 60 plus hours a week just in his career then when he's off he's working on the model a's making videos it takes a lot of time to edit but he loves doing it because he loves that he's helping people and it's the one way 
that he's able to help, help people and have the time to help people because he doesn't have the time to individually help people. He just doesn't have that time. He barely has enough time for me and I'm his wife. So if you are wondering if Paul would take you under his wing and teach you things, um, if you're wondering if you can meet up with Paul or myself um, at some event that we're going to, ask us. It won't hurt. We won't be upset. But as far as getting together with us at our home and learning things in person, it's probably not going to happen because we just don't have that kind of time. And there are hundreds of people that are trying to get to do that very same thing with Paul. And we keep having to tell them the same thing. So that is why I'm coming to you, our Molly community and all the rest of you who come here to watch these videos and learn about Model A's, see what we're doing when we go on tours and all kinds of different things. Whatever reason you are here, I welcome you. Paul welcomes you on his channel also, but please don't overstep boundaries. Please do not show up at our home unannounced and us not knowing you. It's a very bad feeling. I was up until, well, probably 3.30 in the morning this morning um, with thoughts going through my head, not feeling as easy as I did. We picked this community. It's a small community. We live in the country. We like the quiet. We also feel safe. I would say on a zero to 10 scale, zero, not just fearing for your life, and hiding to 10 feeling all easy and all is right with the world and nothing can harm you i would say i've been a good solid nine not too many things around here that would even make me think that something could be scary that i have to worry about anything um, anything but unfortunately after yesterday even though the gentleman was nice they really put a whole new perspective on things and my safeness levels, I think has kind of plummeted to about a five. I don't know. I think it's just a temporary thing. Um, I'm hoping that I don't have any reason to ever worry again about somebody just showing up at our house, especially since not everybody's very nice. I think a, almost 100% of you out there are respectful and wouldn't do such a thing. But for those of you who have possibly thought of it, please don't. I was nice yesterday. I'm always nice. Um, it was just very hard because I kept thinking as I was talking to him going through, well, this is not okay. This is odd. How did you find us? Why didn't you just email us, text us? whatever he couldn't find our phone numbers which i'm surprised of if you found our home why couldn't you find a phone number but and why didn't you just email us um we have a lot of ways to get a hold of us to ask us things i would have just told him this isn't something that can happen wouldn't have wasted a bunch of time wouldn't have wasted a bunch of gas good lord the gas is so expensive you definitely don't want to be wasting that but just please respect people's space. And uh, we are more than willing to get together with people at events, on tours. Um, if you really wanna learn something, um, sometimes Paul has been known to say, hey, I've got this tech thing going on with my club. We're gonna be doing this subject. If you would like, you are welcome to come. But he definitely does not have time to do one-on-one -on -one teachings, hang out, you know, talk about life. If it was just a couple of people, it wouldn't be a big deal. But we're talking thousands. I think Paul is up to possibly 30,000 people that have actually subscribed. That doesn't count the people who actually come and you know, just watch the videos, enjoy them, sometimes like them, but they haven't uh, subscribed yet. And that's up to every individual. But I know there are 
hundreds of thousands of people that make comments, ask questions. And so we're always trying to be helpful. Being one person and me, I don't know as much as Paul, so I can't be as helpful as him. He's one person. He can't help that many people. And so that's where these videos come in. He tries to make them as detailed as possible so he can help as many people as possible all at one time. So with all that said, I want to thank you all that have subscribed that as a community with us, making comments and being respectful. We really appreciate it. We enjoy doing what we're doing. I don't ever want to stop doing this just because my safety feels like it's at risk. So I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing. Paul will continue doing what he's doing. So I hope you guys have a wonderful week. I will be back with you next Wednesday and I will have something fun with a Model A. And I'll see you there. I love you guys. You take care.